Welcome to the MapInfo Discover webinar series. The presentation will start shortly. So now that we've created a layout, the only way that we can save this, if we were working just in MapInfo, is we'd have to save a workspace. Well, the problem here is if we were to save a workspace, it's not going to go back and it's not going to connect to the databases that were used to create this. So what we need to do is use one of the drill hole capabilities, and that is the Project Session Manager. So what I'm going to do is select that, and I'm going to go through, and I'm going to add a new session. So I'm going to click the New button. I'm going to call this the same as my um, section, which is line 9. Oops. And I'm going to click Save. Oh, it looks like I've done this before. Well, yes, I'm going to overwrite it. So now that I've done that, this has been saved, so I can reopen that. And let's take a look at doing that. So what I'm going to do, now that this is saved, I'm going to say Close. I'm going to close out of all of my files, so I'm going to say Close All. I can select under Drill Holes, Project Session Manager. I need to select the session that I'm going to open. That's Line 9. And I'm going to click the Open button. So now what's happened is it has reopened all the windows that were associated with the database as well as connected back to the database itself. So let's take a look. Here is my map window and there is my layout window that I can choose to print. There's one other thing that I do want to show you that can be important, especially when you're sharing information with other people that may be in different locations. And that is the ability to import and export projects. So what we're going to do is we're going to export this project so that we can hand it off to someone else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the option here that says Export Drill Hole Project and it says it's going to create a large number of files. We need to save it to a new directory, so let's say OK. So under My Documents, I think I'm just going to leave it here. Um, actually, let's create a separate directory for it. We could just call this Training underscore Export, and we can double click and save it there. So now I'm going to say Save. And if you have created legends that you would like to include, you can select those here. So we've created two, one for zinc and one for geology, so I'll select those there. And I'm going to say OK. So you can see with the message dialog box, it has exported files. And let's take a look at what's just been created. So if I come down to my file manager, what we're going to do is let's go to my documents folder. Here's the folder that I've just created, Training Export. And you see that it's created a separate subdirectory for each one of my sections, as well as included the tables that were used in my drill hole project itself. There should be something that is called a DXP file, and that is what we would use when we would import this to a new project. So what you could do now is you could save the training export directory, and you could send it to someone. Then when they have received it, what they would do is they would come to Drill Holes, Import Export, they choose the Import Drill Hole Project, and they would select the Training Export DXP file, 
and that would import your drill hole project. It would also import all the sections as well as the legends that were created for this project. So we know everything is connected the way it sp is supposed to be and they are then working with the same data set that you are. So that's another nice feature that's available to you. To purchase these and other DVDs go to http colon slash slash www.geographicsworld.com